Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it is yellow but mellow, it is cute but fierce. I hereby introduce to you the banana. Right, so now that we have got all that out of the way, as you can see, here is the banana. It is brand spanking new again, and I am so pleased with the work that Van der Kooi sports cars have done to it. Now, I'm going to show it to you in full detail, including the price. Now, as we begin, I'm going to show you the back end first, because as you saw in the previous video, uh, the back end was the thing that really got banged against the wall on the racetrack in Belgium. Um, so as you saw in the Lotus update video, um, my new back end was black, so that had to be stripped of paint and uh, needed repainting. So as you can see, it is all yellow now. Um, I have also gone for the, I'll just bring you a little closer, the actual chrome uh, badging. It was just a sticker previously, but I've gone for the uh, proper chrome letters now. Uh, also a little cheeky Van der Kooi sports car sticker right there. Now, um, as you saw, this entire backhand was just ripped up, ripped to shreds, and this is just a brand new backhand. And I'm really pleased with what Van der Kooi has done with it. Now, bodywork wise, the backhand was the only real thing that got damaged in the crash. But as you saw in my previous video, the update video I made at Van der Kooi Sports Cars, the front end was also pretty banged up. Now, that happened uh, before I even owned it. Um, the previous owner in the Netherlands has told me that the owner before him uh, had a crash with a caravan of some sort and it just took out an entire chunk at the front end. Uh, now also it was filled with uh, scratches and marks and uh, stone impacts and stuff like that so the front end was in really bad shape. So while we were at it uh, we took the entire front end off the front clam as it's called. We stripped it of paint, we refilled it and we repainted this. So, so I'm just going to show you that as well. Now if I turn you around you have to excuse the flies because I've been driving it a lot since I just got it back. And around here, this is where that really big chunk was taken out. And that's now all refilled and repainted. Now also, especially the right end, it was just filled with marks and scratches and scuffs. And also down here, it's all nice and clean now. All nice, no, clean. It is repaired, not clean at the moment. And also on the uh, left bit, now it is full of flies but it is just entirely new and other than that the car was in pretty good condition even after the crash now of course if I turn you around again that's the bodywork that needed to be done of course the suspension on that end so I'll just move you over here also needed a bit of replacing so I actually got the bill in my pocket over here right so I've got the bill over here I'm just going to lean down a bit. Uh, right, let's get this all decent. Uh, what needed to be changed were uh, the tow links. So those are two connecting points up here and down here. Uh, other than that, all the linkage needed to be changed and uh, also a special bolt. Now, there is a bolt. I'm not quite sure how to describe it, but it connects the wheel to the suspension. And when it becomes, uh, or when it comes under pressure, like for example in a hit or a crash, uh, it is designed to snap off. Now, that is so the entire suspension uh, won't take the entire hit. So that's exactly what it has done. It snapped off, so it disconnected the wheel from the suspension and uh, that made sure the uh, suspension components were still in good place. So all that needed to be changed were the linkage and the tow links and of course that new bolt that is now also in place. Now other than that the suspension was fine, the chassis wasn't damaged as well so I'm really lucky with that. So um, in total I'm just going to show you uh, the bill I've got over here. In total it cost me around to sort of sum it up, 4,500 euros. Now, 4,500 euros is a bit pricey, of course, but it could have been a hell of a lot more if it wasn't for Van der Kooi sports cars. Now, um, the 
backhand, the rear clam as it is called. I bought it second hand from Van der Kooy itself. And if you buy it from uh, Lotus in the UK, it will cost you around 4,000 euros, excluding paint or fitting. Now, as I said in my previous video, there are some counterfeit backhands available for the Lotus Elise S2, but Van der Kooy Sports Cars has advised me against that because they told me the fitting is not properly done. Uh, it doesn't really line up with, with the uh, original bodywork. And I wanted to keep my Lotus as original as possible, so I'm really pleased that I've got an original backhand. Now, as you saw in my previous video, it was black and it had a tiny scuff on it. So I bought it directly from Van der Goes Sports Cars for 950 euros. Now, if you compare that with a new one for 4,000, that's the bargain of the century. So, excluding paint and repair, it cost me 950 euros to buy it. And in total, for all the paint work and the back end, it has cost me around 1850 euros total. Now, if we add up that amount, plus everything that has been done to the car, including man hours and all the other prices of the components uh, it is a very logical price that I've got over here and as I said it could have been a lot more so again a massive thanks to Van der Kooy Sports Cars for taking good care of it now I would also like to take the opportunity to thank every one of you who have been in touch with me including professional race car drivers they have really pointed out what went wrong and what I should have done better now I am planning to do a lot of drivers uh, trainings and a lot of um, well track days of course to get my experience up um, but I, I am really amazed how much attention the video has gotten and I hope it is also a learning experience for new drivers who are thinking about doing track days don't make my mistake take it easy take it slow drive with an instructor next to you first um, to make sure you know the track and gradually build it up don't push yourself too hard and get to know your car first and, and know your surroundings and all that stuff. Now, um, I've said it in my previous video as well, but um, I am going to do a lot of trainings in the future and I'm going to film that as well. So if you're interested in that, subscribe to the channel. Now, I've had the car back for a single day and you won't believe what I'm going to do right now. Right now, I am going to a racetrack.